Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to create FTP server in Windows 10. So sometimes you need to work with the FTP server and if you are working on an application and you need to test something for the FTP server, then you might need the credentials for the FTP server. So sometimes if you don't have the FTP server, then it might be tricky for you to test the functionality of a particular program. So because I'm an SSIS developer and there is an FTP task in the SSIS which can actually download and upload the files to the FTP server. So if I need to test the functionality of the FTP task, then I should have an access on the FTP server. So in this particular video, we will create an FTP server on the local Windows machine. So let's jump to the demo. First of all, let me just create a folder, FTP folder here on the desktop. You can create the folder at any location and I will call the folder as FTP. And now the second thing is that I need to open the control panel. So you can search control panel and then you can open the programs and features. On the top left side, there is an option turn windows features on or off. So you can click on this particular option. And then there is an option here, internet information services. So you can expand this one and you can click on this option and then you can expand this one and you can click on this one FTP functionality so you can click on the options for the FTP server so you can click the FTP extensibility and you can click on the FTP service and now you can click on OK so this will take couple of minutes and the required features will be installed on your machine so you can see that Windows completed the requested changes now you can click on close and now you need to click on the control panel home and now there is an option administrative tool so you can click on this particular option and then there is an option here internet information services manager so you can double click on this one so it will open the internet information services manager for you you can maximize this one and if you expand on the left side and if you expand the site so it will show you the available sites on your machine you can right click on the sites and click add FTP site you can name the FTP site anything like maybe you can name it for example test one or you can put your own name for example let me put my name here and then you need to give the physical path of the folder that you created so I created a folder on the desktop so I can select this FTP folder here and I can click on ok now I can click on next under IP addresses there are two options either you can use all unassigned or you can just select the IP address of the machine because my IP address is dynamic and it can change every time the machine will be restarted. So I will select all unassigned. Okay. And now under SSL, I will select the no SSL and then I can click on next. Under authentication type, I will select the basic authentication type and then allow access to. So I will select the specified users and then I will type the my username of the machine. So if you see my username is HP so I will type HP here and then under permissions I will select read and write permissions and then I can click on finish FTP site has been created and now what we need to do we need to click on the start button go to the settings and now you need to click on the accounts your accounts email sync and then if you click on the family or others so on the others you need to click on add someone else to this PC so we will create a user from which we can connect to the FTP server so we will create a user for the FTP so here it is asking for the email and I can click on I don't have this person sign in information now it is asking for the email again and we can say that add a user without a Microsoft account now it is asking for the username so I can give the username as FTP hyphen user and then I can type a password here re-enter the password okay in case you forgot your password so what was your pet's name I can type like AA another security question AA third security question AA okay and now I can click on next so it has created a user FTP user here okay so I can close this particular window now if you click on this particular site FTP site and if you double click on the FTP site rules so you can right click here and you can click on add allow rules now here it is asking like allow access this content to to which user you want to allow the access to so I can select specified users radio button here okay 
and then I can type the username that I just created so I created FTP user so I can just type the name of the user here and then I can click on read and write access so I can click on ok now I can close this particular window and then I can minimize this one as well and because this is the folder where the files will be situated so what I can do I can just go to the properties and allow the access to the FTP user here as well so that it can read and write the files from this particular folder from the FTP folder so you can go to the security and you can click on edit here you can add the FTP user so I can write FTP user and then I can click on check names so it will append the computer name as well before it with the backward slash and I can click on ok here I can click on full control and modify and you can click on apply ok ok now there is one thing that right now this particular folder is empty so let me just copy some data into this particular folder so what I can do I can copy the files from the D files location so there are three files CSC files I can just paste the files here so now in my FTP folder I got three files email underscore info drug company and the emp.csv now I can close this particular folder now there is one important thing that in the firewall we need the access for the FTP server so we can open the control panel and then we can click on the windows defender firewall and here we need to click on this one allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now we need to click on the change settings and then if you scroll down there is an option FTP server so you can click on the FTP server and then you can click on both options private and public and then you can click on ok and you can close this one so now the FTP server can be accessed through the firewall now how you can access the FTP server so the first thing is that you can open the command prompt and can check the IP address of your machine so we can write IP config and if you check this one IPv4 address so this is the IP address of your machine so you can copy the IP address from here and maybe I can paste it in the notepad and before it I can write FTP colon forward slash so this is how you can access the FTP server so you can close the command prompt window and I can copy this particular address from here and then I can open the internet explorer so I can open this one and here in the URL I can type the FTP server address so now you can see that it is showing one file emails.csv and if I refresh this one so it is asking me for the username and the password so my username is FTP user and I can type my password here and I can click on log on so it is showing me all the three files available in the FTP folder so if you check the FTP folder on the desktop so it is showing me all the three folders earlier it was showing me just one file because later I added two files initially there was one file in the folder so this is how you can create the FTP server on your Windows 10 machine and now you can access this FTP server from any application so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel Press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.